Let us now look at another question which also is based on finding out an unknown value such that the given expression becomes a perfect square. Now the question says if n power r minus tn plus 1 by 4 be a perfect square then what are the values of t and the given answer options are plus or minus 2, 1 and 2, 2 and 3 and plus or minus 1. So here the expression n power r minus t n plus 1 by 4 has to be a perfect square. Now again like the previous case we just need to express this in the form of a minus b whole square or a plus b whole square right. So if you look at the given expression here n power r minus t n plus 1 by 4 it is obvious that r should be equal to 2 right because if this expression should be in the form of a minus b whole square the first term will be a square so r has to be 2. However we need to fi find out the value of t so our concern here is what should be in place of t. So this becomes n square minus t n plus 1 by 4 which is like a square minus 2 ab plus b square right. If you look at it it can be taken as n square minus t n plus 1 by 2 whole square right b in our case is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 whole square becomes 1 by 4. Now focus on the 2 ab part right minus 2 ab or 2 ab here. What is 2 ab t n right 2 ab is equal to t n. But what should actually be 2ab? It should be 2 into a. a is n into b. What is b? 1 by 2. b is equal to 1 by 2. Are you able to follow? The 2ab term in the given expression is tn. Right? And by taking actually 2 into a into b, what do we get? 2 into a, which is n into b. b here is 1 by 2. Now simplify this. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So what are we left with? tn is equal to n. Now n anyway gets cancelled. So what do we have? t equals to 1. t is equal to 1. So by taking t equals to 1 what do we get? n square minus n plus 1 by 2 which is like n minus 1 by 2 whole square n minus 1 by 2 whole square right n square plus 1 by 2 whole square minus n. But at the same time even if we take minus 1 let's say if we take t equals to we have one value as 1 but if we take as minus 1 what happens it becomes n square plus n plus 1 by 2 whole square which also is like n plus 1 by 2 whole square all right. So this can be taken as uh, I mean t here can be taken as plus or minus 1 through which the equation or the expression becomes n minus 1 by 2 whole square or n plus 1 by 2 whole square. So it can be expressed as n plus or minus 1 by 2 whole square if t is plus or minus 1. Hence the answer has to be option d. t equals to plus or minus 1. So as simple as that. Just focus on the 2ab part in such cases and see what should come in place of uh, the unknown value.